I've been involved in fighting wildfires for over 31 years. Uh, this experience has assisted me with the wildfire investigation part. I was the incident commander of this fire you're seeing in the background. Uh, seeing fire behavior firsthand certainly helps when I'm doing a wildfire investigation. There's significant differences in the methodology employed in wildfire investigations versus structural fire investigations. The methodology involves going from, in the case of wildfires, the area of most damage to the area of least damage. The opposite is true in a structure fire. Uh, I encourage uh, folks such as attorneys, insurance companies to uh, choose an investigator that has wildfire investigation experience. It is certainly different doing a wildfire investigation out here as opposed to in a square box. While it's often helpful to get to a wildfire for an origin and cause investigation soon after the fire, oftentimes we encounter what we call cold cases, which may be several months old. I believe we can still help attorneys and insurance uh, industry folks in a cold case. Uh, there are still significant things to look at as far as pattern analysis that might help us determine uh, where that fire started and in some cases how. There's also a lot of other things we can look at in a cold case as far as reviewing weather records, uh, fuel, moisture content, the humidity, wind direction of the fire, and some of the activities of the suppression people. So cold case investigations, uh, while they present additional challenges, they certainly can be done and they are helpful to attorneys and insurance agents. Some aspects of wildfire investigation are particularly rewarding, uh, particularly if we're able to pinpoint uh, the area where it started and, more importantly, the cause of the fire. That enables uh, people to avoid having uh, a replication or have the fire start again uh, from a similar cause. Hopefully we can use it as a prevention tool to avoid future disasters.